How's it going, everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. Welcome back to another episode of Learning SRPG Studio. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the base settings and how to change your default base setup. I've changed the background and added some extra things. We've added a shop called The Crib, a bonus trade where you can buy a limited quantity of items. You can assign bonus experience. You can save your game, you can manage your team, you can do all kinds of different things. There's a quest that you can accept here. Let's take a look at how you would set up your base. If you're on a map, click back to top and go to base settings. The base settings are going to stay the same no matter what map that you're currently working on. In your base, you can set up shops, bonuses, set up quests and add extra conditions. If you want to add a new store, you'll click create data. You can give it an icon. Let's give this one paper icon. We need to give it a name that the player's going to see. We'll call it Castle Vendor. The description will say new stores obtained after taking the castle. We're gonna set this to a shop layout and we'll add the longsword be available here. We'll say that there's only one, so it's limited time, but we'll make some conditions. If you only want this castle vendor to show up at a certain time, you can set up conditions for that. I'm going to select a global switch and say that captured castle has to be on in order for this shop to be available. Let's go over to bonuses. The same thing is going to happen here. The shop is going to look for money. It's going to require that you pay money to buy stuff. The bonuses will require that you spend your bonus points that would otherwise go into experience for specialized items and you can do the same thing give it a name give it a description you can set up bonus trade or takeover items you can also set up special conditions in order for the bonus to appear and set custom parameters if you would like you can set up your own quests and have victory conditions and display conditions you can have it so that you have to complete a previous quest to see the next quest if we wanted to do that we can create a new quest give it an icon we'll go like this and we'll call this Blood staff, more blood is required. So Hungry Blades will get a long sword and 100 bonus points for turning the switch, the global switch captured castle on. And there's no display condition, so this should display from the beginning. But what we can do with this one is set display conditions that the global switch captured castle has to be on. Once we beat this quest, this one will become available. We can set some rewards. Let's just give it a bonus of 200. Victory conditions, we'll have to give it some conditions. You can set up whatever kind of conditions you want. We'll say that you have to have over 200 bonus to complete this quest and then you get 200 bonus. Obviously you'll do more of an advanced quest line. This is just for an example. And you can set up some details. If you want to set up some events, you can do that here without actually placing them anywhere. If you want to toggle switches, you can toggle and create new switches here. If you want to adjust some variables, you can assign values to them here. You have basic settings here. You can display your shop screen as a view format in the game. You can display bonuses. You can display graphics on the conversation screen in the game. And you can have numbers be displayed on the quest if you want them to be numbered or take that off. Display the average level of enemies in the quest. So there are some options there. And here's where you set up your area settings. You can give the base a name home base. You can assign custom parameters if you like. You set your battle background. Remember you can right click to change things. You can change your music there if you want. And you can even have special conditions so that the base changes after certain switches have happened. We've made some changes to the base. We are setting requirements so that if we've captured the castle, then we'll see the castle vendor. If not, we won't. If we complete Hungry Blades by capturing the castle, then a new quest should unlock. Let's go ahead and capture the castle and see if this works as intended. We'll start a new game. We start in the forest. We awaken in the forest, we don't know how we got here, we're gonna just say, make a shelter, we get a healing item for that. We emerge out of the forest the next morning, and we are greeted with a battle here, we're gonna fight this battle, we'll start the chapter. We'll go ahead and move our guy right here. Castle becomes cursed, but we go to the base, so by capturing the castle, we have turned on a global switch which allows for other shops. You see, now we have the castle vendor. At the beginning, we didn't have that. That's how you set up your base settings. It's pretty simple once you look at the menu and know where to look. Hopefully you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And if you'd like to support what I do, please consider backing me on Patreon, patreon.com slash driftwoodgaming. If you want to come hang out in the Discord, we have a server. The link is in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to stay awesome. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.